Okay, so one plus eight and one plus eight pro is getting launched on fourteenth uh, of this month at around eight thirty p.m. India Standard Time. So what we know so far, actually, if we think that we know everything about one plus eight and eight pro as of now, there have been several leaks with respect to the specifications, hardware, display, camera, colors. So in this video, what I thought is I will be going through all similarities and the key differences between the both of the phones. So uh, I've written down all the similarities and differences in a piece of paper so that I don't forget to mention any of the points. Uh, first of all, we will burst out all the similarities. Uh, here for the first time, OnePlus is going all out. Uh, that means uh, all the phones will be 5G capable. Uh, uh, both 8 and 8 Pro will be smoting a Snapdragon 865 processor, having a 30 watt uh, fast charging, which is OnePlus's uh, warp charging and uh, both will come with storage option of uh, 128 and 256 GB and uh, a graphics option of Adreno 650. With the similarities aside, uh, let's concentrate on the differences now. The main difference which I think is uh, uh, will be a deciding factor to buy which phone uh, will be lying with respect to the display and with respect to the camera. The display of OnePlus 8 is a full HD AMOLED display and will be sporting a 90Hz refresh rate. Whereas the OnePlus 8 Pro will be a 2K display and it will be sporting a 120Hz display rate. So there comes 90, there comes 120Hz and it's a full HD screen and it's a uh, 2K display. <coughs> the second difference is with respect to camera. The camera module of OnePlus 8 at the rear comes with a three camera setup. It's a 48 megapixel, 16 megapixel and a 2 megapixel. The 48 megapixel is a main sensor, 16 megapixel is the ultra wide and 2 megapixel is the macro sensor. Whereas the OnePlus 8 Pro sports a four camera setup at the back. Uh, it's a um, 48 megapixel main sensor, 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Uh, 8 megapixel telephoto zoom and 5 megapixel uh, depth sensor. There is one more difference that may be the deciding factor between most of the consumers, uh, especially <laughs> tech savvy consumers like me. For the first time in history, OnePlus is um, bringing wireless charging onto the table. So, uh, OnePlus 8 Pro will be the phone which will be getting the wireless charging, not OnePlus 8. So uh, here, 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 it may be, this may be a deciding factor between uh, the, both the phones. Uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, the wireless charging capability is 30 watt fast charging. So it's, it's, it's a lot actually. Uh, if you compare the wireless charging which the flagships offer, right? Uh, if you compare that, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And for the first time, wireless uh, charging is there. For the first time, IP rating also OnePlus is bringing to the table. IP rating uh, uh, for the OnePlus 8 Pro will be IP68 rating, but the OnePlus 8 won't be receiving any IP rating. But regarding to the color option, both the phones will come with black and green configuration, except the OnePlus 8 will also get an ultra marine blue, as they call. It's basically a blue color, but a very, very stylish blue, I will call, mm, you know, blue color phone. So here lies the key differences and similarities between OnePlus and OnePlus 8. I will talk a little bit about OnePlus 8 Lite or OnePlus X also. Uh, as of now, there is no conclusive leaks or rumors that OnePlus 8 Lite or X is going to be released in April 14th only. Uh, specifically, uh, since it's the trimmed down version, right? I don't think that OnePlus 8 will release uh, in the launch event of OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro itself. It may get released uh, during uh, June, July time frame, maybe a media launch or something like that. But uh, as of now, there is no leaks with respect to the launch of OnePlus X. But definitely the cost factor of OnePlus X will be a, uh, will be, will be, uh, maybe a deciding factor between the consumers. Uh, where OnePlus 8 Pro, as of now, the rumor comes like it will be costing north of 50,000, 50K in India, and maybe OnePlus 8 uh, may, may be launching in around 40 to 45K. But uh, whereas OnePlus 8 Lite may be uh, sub 35,000 maybe. So, uh, 
yeah, you can either wait for 8 Lite or uh, maybe if you like the configuration and the specs of 8 and 8 Pro, you can uh, make a decisive decision and go ahead. So uh, with this, uh, today I wrap up my video. Hope all you guys liked it and please subscribe to the channel. It will motivate me to make more and more videos. Uh, stay strong.